So uh, my buddy, Bad Ombre Garage, wanted to do the uh, $50 buy something challenge and then you, uh, you know, you fix it up and you flip it or, I mean, you might even just wash it off and repost it for a higher price than you paid for it. But I, I usually do that. I do that a lot as far as uh, how I make my money. I buy stuff that either the guy is down on his luck and needs the money or it's something wrong with it, seriously wrong with it. And I fix it or just clean it up and flip it and sell it. So I kind of did the same thing, except I, I kind of broke the $50 rule a little bit. But the principle is the same. Uh, it's $50, it's $500, it's $5,000, it doesn't matter. You buy low, you fix it up, you sell it high. So I uh, made a purchase. And it's definitely not $50. It's a uh, pretty good deal, I think. So, how well you can see this in here, there we go. 454 Chevy. 1991 Fleetwood Southwind uh, 30 footer. So it's got a little water damage. Um, that's why I got it so cheap. It only had 52,000 miles on it. Runs and drives like a dream. <laughs> I'm talking. All kinds of power, airbags on the axle for the shocks, like it rides like a Cadillac, you guys. So the plan obviously is to gut all of this stuff out, get this water damage repaired, and then seal it up and make it warm for the winter. Make it a little custom and uh, flippy dippy. So today I'm gonna strip, I mean everything. I'm stripping all of this shit out. Everything's gotta go except for the galley. I'm gonna keep the galley the way it is and the bathroom the way it is and then I'll paint that shit. But I gotta get all this stuff out to get to all of this stuff. Like there's water damage. But again, that's interior. There's a aluminum structure inside of this with some foam board insulation and then a bunch of uh, Luan or whatever they call it. It's like really thin wood. Anyway, rip all this out, clean it up and uh, yeah have something cool to flip or keep that's the beauty of it you don't always have to sell it all right so i got my drill i'm gonna start taking things apart pulling these cabinets out then i can start getting the carpet and the furniture and all the appliances out and to think i was gonna consider keeping this couch but she dirty good thing i didn't yeah. Well, I have the entire front section, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, ruined, destroyed. Yeah, a little bit of water damage. So I'm going to get all this treated and then sealed back up with some of that poly sheeting. And then, uh, Get this dinette out of here, get the sofa bed out of here, and just start working my way back. Thanks for watching and... Yeah.